A modification of the Panzer SMSV is being developed on a track chassis for the ground and airborne forces. Work on the Panzer SMSV new surface-to-air missile gun system modification will be completed in 2022. The system will have two types of anti-aircraft guided missiles and have an increased zone of destruction. Both works are planned to be completed in 2022, Lieutenant General Alexander Leonov, head of the military air defense of the armed forces of the Russian Federation, said in an interview with the Russian Defense Ministry's newspaper Krasnaya Zvezda. The missile of the new Manpids will be equipped with an optoelectronic homing head, providing guidance to the target under the influence of all types of existing and developing optical interference, Leonov said. He told state media that the Panzer SMSV will employ two types of surface-to-air missiles and will have an increased strike range. Its work is set to be completed in 2022. Russia is also developing a new anti-aircraft missile system dubbed Ditsilov that will employ two types of missiles with different directing principles, thermal and laser homing missiles, Russia's battlefield air defense chief said. The Panzers have been tested to intercept targets flying at extremely low altitudes, below 50 meters, down high-speed target missiles, and destroy targets simulating armored personnel carriers at a distance of up to 3 kilometers. The system is said to have a striking range of 40 kilometers. New more powerful missiles double the maximum range of destruction of air targets, while the updated radars extend the detection range and provide accurate guidance of missiles towards its target, Ruslan added. The Panzer system tested in Russia in March is the SM variant, according to the report, which has an extended range of up to 40 kilometers. The Panzer SM showed its high efficiency against ultra-small targets, said Air Defense and Missile Defense Forces Deputy Commander Yuri Grekov. This means the system was tested against small drones or quadcopters. Drones and other types of UAVs have become a major problem for militaries in recent years, as technology allows the best armies to be more versatile using their drones and even allows terrorist groups to repurpose civilian drones to harass forces. For instance, Russia's Khmeimam Air Base in Syria has been regularly targeted by drones, according to reports. Most of these are likely flown by terrorist or Syrian rebel groups based in Idlib. But Russia has also hinted that the US or others have coordinated drone attacks. According to the latest reports, Panzer SM is still undergoing the necessary tests, but in the near future, the army will decide the issue of adopting it. Apparently, the new modification of the air defense missile system will supplement and then replace the existing vehicles in the troops. Due to this, important objects of civil and military infrastructure will receive more effective protection against all modern threats. The development of the Panzer line of anti-aircraft missile gun systems continues and constantly leads to new interesting results. New modifications of equipment appear with certain innovations intended for deliveries to the Russian army or abroad. In the near future, two new versions of the ZRPK will reach mass production at once and will go to the troops. Thus, Panzer once again confirms the existence of a solid modernization potential, and the industry is actively using it both in the interests of its own armed forces and for making money on the international market. The desired results have already been achieved in both directions, and it is clear that these trends will continue in the future. The aim of the Panzer SMS-1M modernization project was to improve the main tactical and technical characteristics and obtain new combat capabilities. Such tasks were solved by replacing part of the elements of the complex, include means of destruction. 
According to the results of the modernization carried out, Panzer SM is able to notice earlier various aerodynamic targets of different classes, as well as attack, and hit them at increased distances. Due to the improvement of electronic equipment and weapons, an effective fight is ensured both with aircraft or aviation means of destruction and with small-sized duos. The general architecture of the modernized air defense missile system remains the same. A compatible four-axle chassis or trailer accommodates a large container with all fixed assets and assemblies, Inkle. With a rotating turret equipped with radar, cannons and launchers. At the same time, the composition of the equipment of the Russian Panzer SM and the export Panzer S1M differs significantly. During the modernization, the standard radars were replaced. The SM project uses a new detection station capable of detecting an air target, EPR not specified, at a distance of 75 kilometers. The new tracking and guidance station, located between the cannons and launchers, provides targets for operation at ranges up to 40 km and altitudes up to 18 km. The block of optoelectronic equipment for observation and guidance has been modernized. The updated air defense missile system for the Russian Army retains the ability to use two-stage bicaliber short-range anti-aircraft missiles, 5070-6E. With the help of radio command guidance, such a product can hit targets at ranges up to 20 km and altitudes up to 15 km. Also, a new SAM has been developed with a range of 40 km and an altitude of 18 km. The two launchers still carry up to 12 missiles. The artillery unit is not changed and includes a pair of two A38M double-barreled cannons with 1400 rounds of ammunition. Last year, Pansiri SM was demonstrated with a reduced composition of the main missiles. The upper extreme positions on the launchers were given over to blocks of small-sized missiles. As reported, a small-sized light missile defense system with a range of 20 km has been developed specifically for the Panzer SM. With its help, it is proposed to destroy small targets for which other missiles are redundant. In place of one large rocket, a container with four lightweight ones is placed. The Army 2021 demonstrates the Panzer S1M complex, which has significant differences from the previously shown SM product. So, instead of a new detection radar, a product of the old 1PC-11E model is used. In addition, only TPK full-size missiles are mounted on the launchers. Probably, the export appearance of the complex does not provide for bringing the detection range to 70 to 75 kilometers and expanding combat capabilities in the near zone. At the same time, Panzer S1M can use a new missile defense system with a range of 40 kilometers.